I really started writing this book out of pain. And it was in 2014 when I started writing. I really hit a deep, dark, depressive state in my life. And I felt like I was in the middle of this storm. I was in a tunnel with no light at the end of the tunnel. I felt like I couldn't breathe. There was another author that I spoke to years prior who said, there's a book in you, you need to start writing. When you're ready, let me know. And what he left me with was this piece of advice. He said, write down 10 questions that your book will answer and go under each question and just start answering that one question. He said, that's how you can start. Everyone starts differently, but that's how I recommend you start. He said, let me know when you get there. Just getting everything out on paper, then you have the next phase of it, which is editing. You get so tired and so burnt out from reopening the laptop and looking at commas and periods and maybe I should use this other word. I mean, you want to quit every single time. Then putting it together, like at one point my book was done and then I said, no, it's not following the chronological order. I had to go and dissect it and take it all apart and put it all. Everything about the process was hard. Anything that you love or want out of life, your big dream, it's going to be grueling. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. It is going to challenge and test the crap out of you because if it was that easy, everyone would do it. The process was grueling for me. I started writing poetry. I started just trying to describe the hell I was in. None of it made sense, but I I started the process then. The title of my book, Uniquely Qualified, was birthed from a conversation with a girlfriend. And she said to me, you have already been qualified and in a very unique way. You are uniquely qualified. And that's when I said, aha. It is a book filled with a journey of brokenness but also I turn every chapter around on you, on the reader. Every chapter has an exercise, an activity for you to walk through. I believe that it's, it's awesome for you to hear someone else's story. And we should share our story as many times as we can with as many people as we can. However, then we have to do the work. So first you hear it, you get excited, you, you, you want to do something, now you gotta do it. So this book is gonna make you work. I, I ask you hard, hard questions. I make you pull out paper and pen and walk through steps so that you, alongside the journey that you're reading, can be walking your own journey toward your own destiny. I encourage you to open your eyes. See what God has for you. I promise you, it's there. You may not have been able to notice it yet, but there's beauty in the mist. Be wise. Fix your eyes on God's blessings. What is God's perspective in your current situation? Many times we're focused on the negative. We'll look at one situation and, and, and go down a list of all the things that are wrong rather than focusing on the blessing that God has given us in that situation and looking at the positive. Trust me, any situation you're in right now, God is showering so many blessings in you. We just have to change our perspective to God's perspective. With this book, I just pray and hope that, that you get a sense of hope, that you first see that it's okay, shake off these bad things that you say about yourself, and, and know that I'm all right, I'm good, I'm in a good place, and then start to put the pieces together, start to walk through the steps to getting and to fulfilling your true passion, the biggest dream that you could ever have for yourself. You can have that, you know? We have to push a lot of our excuses and a lot of that fear out of the way. Once you push that out of the way, you start taking these steps, you will walk into your destiny. You will walk into your purpose and you can have your heart's desire.